We'll start this problem by graphing the first inequality. To do that, we need to switch it to an equal sign and graph that line. To graph a line, you need two points. We're going to find the x and y intercepts, starting with the x intercept. And as we work that out, we get x equal to 2, which produces the point 2 comma 0. Now for the y intercept, plug 0 in for x. And when we work that out, multiply both sides by 2, we get y equal to 8, which produces the point 0, 8. Now we can graph. And since it's a strictly greater than inequality symbol, it's going to be a dashed line. Now since it's an inequality, we have to shade a region. So we need to use a test point. We'll use 0, 0, convenient point. And we plug that in. We get 0 greater than 4 which is false, so we're going to shade the region that does not contain 0, 0, which is above the line. And now we'll move on to the second inequality. Again, we're going to use the x and y intercepts, starting with the x intercept. And we get the point, 2 comma 0. Now for the y intercept. And when we work that out, we just get y equal to 6. Now again, we can graph the line, but since it's a uh, less than symbol, it's a dashed line again. We use a test point zero, 0, so we can shade above or below the line. And we do that, we get 0 less than 6, which is true. So we're going to shade below the line. That's where zero, 0 is. And you see the overlapping region, the purple region. So that's our solution region. The only issue is we had an initial constraint of x greater than 0 and y greater than 0, which I'm currently pointing to. So that means we're restricted to quadrant 1. And since that solution region is all in the fourth quadrant, it means that there is no solution to this problem.